King of the Hill. Hey guys, it's Houdini here, and I'm bringing you another one of my commentaries. This commentary is over 2v2 double team King of the Hill. We're playing on countdown, and my partner is Turkey Ram. Unfortunately, Turkey Ram was not in this video with me. He was busy when I was recording it, so it is not a dual com, but that's okay. So we've already gone over some of our King of the Hill strategy on this map, where I sit up at this top bridge. But in case you didn't watch our other video on double team, basically when me and Turkey play double team, and really when anybody should play double team, what you really should do is have one guy go stand in the center hill at the beginning, and the other person go onto the catwalks here and snipe down at them. You get a bunch of team shots, and it makes it very hard for them to control the hill, unless you're like me, and I think I missed a couple shots in the beginning. Or maybe right, yeah, right here. It took me a bunch of shots to kill that guy. Usually you kill them and they don't get any points in the hill because by the time they jump down, they are dead. And then, since I'm on the catwalks, the hill spawns onto me and then we get points again. Then you can have your partner come up and you can both take this hill. This is a very easy hill to control. Whenever you're fired, duck into one of these side rooms. Unless they throw a grenade, then you can't really die. Then Turkey goes there, gives him help, and we just keep going the hill. The guy on my radar, I did see. I don't know why I didn't go over there and get a preemptive little slash towards him, but it didn't matter. We got him anyway. So we're just holding this hill, 55 to 20, and we're getting two points per second. Yes, yeah, so that's the other thing. You get two points. Per, you get not two points per second, but one point per person in the hill and double teams king of the hill variant. This is different than regular king of the hill, which is why double teams king of the hill requires 250 points to win, while the other king of the hill requires only 150 because you can have two people on the hill and you get a lot more points. That was a terrible grenade. If you want to get better grenades, I should watch Turkey Ram's grenade video, but that was just terrible. Okay, they throw a grenade, I hide here, Turkey goes, then I use him as a shield to get the kill. Double kill. Hill controlled. Once again, this is an also easy hill to control because you can hide behind these little walls here and they won't be able to shoot you or grenade you because you know which side they're going. There we go, running right, hail to the king. So, feeling pretty confident we're doing good this game. We're six times their score, so it's looking pretty good for us. Right here is when I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't want to lose this riot. I could get so many more kills, but I get a nice grenade and I keep it alive. Okay, this was kind of a mistake. I don't think I meant to fall down there, but if I did, that was really stupid. I should have waited till they were under me, but Turkey saved me, getting that assist. Right here, I just got my last sword kill, so I'm going over here to get the new sword. I don't want them to get it because then they could do something. Get some shots in that guy, and hopefully Turkey will clean him up. Hill control. Hill control. Oh. See there, I was like running away from trying to like, okay, I guess the sword's not spawning and then it just spawned as soon as Hill I left, control. so that was kind of disappointing. Another thing, there will be live game audio for this that I will be uploading and you Hill can control. check that out by the going to the link that will be in the description. Right there, I thought there was somebody in the hill. hill he wasn't quite in the hill yet, so I got kind of a wasted grenade, but that was okay. It would have been cool if they actually were in the hill. So I'm like, okay, I don't see anybody. Oh, there they are. Get with my sword and hologram new. Then we get into the hill. We have both down. And we're in the hill. I'm looking out left. Turkey is looking out right, I believe. We're just keeping an eye on where they are. So right now, they're pretty much out of the game. We just were just slaying them and basically just destroying their hill. Pretty good grenade right there. I forced one guy to back up and then the other guy got injured and Turkey picked him up. So get a, if you get grenades, if you're faced with two people charging you, throw a grenade. Hopefully you get one of them weak and then you can get the other guy to back up or you can do a one v a 2v1 thing and not to worry about it. Right here on countdown, there's this little pocket where you can hide. And then right here, that's a great thing me and Turkey did. I ran across to draw that guy's fire while Turkey ended up cleaning that guy up. Or I guess he made him fall down and then he came over to me. But if you do like a switch like that, Turkey was getting fired on. So I'm like, okay, Turkey, I'm running across. I ran across, got one kill, and then draw. Then I drew the fire of the guy that was shooting across at Turkey. 
trying to keep Turkey Ram alive. These guys are basically feeding us as I get my cutting crew, which is a 15 sword kill medal, helping out Turkey, kind of stealing his kill, but he has given me lots of assists anyway, so it's okay. I'm sitting up here because third floor opposite of the hill, you get great shots into the hill. Hill controlled. And I can see, oh, Turkey guy's jumping down on you. I fell not on purpose there. That was a terrible fall. I never run across the center of Countdown. So many places where people can fire on you, you don't want to do that. It's much better just to stay. So now that I fell, I'm like, okay, Turkey, I'll come help you. Almost got stuck there. I was very happy I didn't. That could have destroyed my spree. So you can see, I'm not sure how many kills I have, but I have not died yet. Ooh, crazy nade. I'm like, Turkey, don't let me die. Steal the health pack. Turkey cleans him up. Hill controlled. Now I get into the hill. Hill move. So that hill in the back is not an easy one to defend. I mean, that guy scared me, but he jumped down. That's okay. This one right here, very hard to defend because they can just be on these catwalks across the map anywhere. And there you just saw I got an assist free because Turkey Ram stole five of my kills. Hill control. Basically, an assist free means, man, we feel sorry for you. That one teammate of yours stole all your kills. But I still have 30 kills, zero deaths, and five assists. Hill control. So I'm pretty close to getting my unfriggin' believable, which is a 40 kill spree. But that's pretty hard to get, and this is double team, so there's only two people that I could kill at any given time. I'm like, Turkey, come on, let me get this unfriggin' believable. You'd be so awesome. We have. Oh. I think I said earlier in the video that double team goes to 250, it actually is 300, as you can see by the score right there. So that was my mistake. Double team, King of the Hill does go to 300 points. So it's the same thing as regular King of the Hill, except you have to have two people in the hill. So it's 150 seconds each person in the hill, instead of one person. So sitting up here, trying to shoot down out of my window, but I kind of failed. We'll blame that on the wind blowing up at me. Heal controlled. Inconceivable. Heal controlled. So right there, 35 kills with that inconceivable medal, and I'm like, oh my gosh, five more. No, Turkey, why'd you steal another one of my kills? We only have two minutes, I have to get five kills, no. Hill controlled. Hill controlled. No, another kill stolen because I Hill wasn't pacing my DMR. Thirty seconds to win. No, thirty Hill seconds control. to win. No, gotta get this point. These kills. He's Hill coming up again. Don't get in the hill, Turkey. I'm so close. Don't let them kill me. Don't let them kill me. I'm like shouting. You'll hear in the audio because I'm trying to get this unforgettable. This wasn't my first, but it was one of my few I've gotten. And I'm like, oh my gosh, does that guy have a shotgun? Oh my gosh, he threw a grenade. I need a couple more kills. He's right there. I don't know what weapon he has. I'm like, no. Nice pace for the headshot there at the end. I'm like, I know you're there, dude. Come on now. I want to get this kill. Ah, uh, Turkey stole it again. So right there, in my last five kills, I've gotten three of them, I believe. Stolen by Turkey Ram. No. Didn't pace my DMR, so I lost that kill. I'm going in there. Headshot. Unfreaking believable. Right there. 40 kills, zero deaths. I jumped down. I'm like, oh my gosh, I just did that. So that was pretty exciting for me. And they're trying to get their hill. I don't know what they're doing. They really don't have any time at all. They cannot win, even if they have both people in the hill for the last minute. But. Me and Turkey are good sports, we don't just kill them a bunch of times, we go and capture the hill for them, so you know. Turkey got actually quite a few deaths in this game, but that's okay for him. Jump down, because I want a shotgun, I don't want to die, I have 30 seconds to live, I'm not going to settle for an AR. Ooh, I'm getting shot at, I run away, steal Turkey's kill. Come on, and we win! I, the unobjective player, actually ended up getting more points than their whole team. But thanks for watching. Houdini gets an unfreaking believable 40 something a no. Thanks for watching.